This is funny. I just purchased some products from one of my favorite brands, Black Rouge, and I want to show you the simple makeup look basing those products. If you are curious how to do this makeup look, let's begin with the tutorial. I'm going to start by applying a glowy foundation all over my face evenly. And then as always, I have to cover my dark circles with concealer. Next, I'm going to draw my eyebrows. The skinny eyebrow pencil is really helpful to make the shape more precision since it can't reach the small area. And then I'm going to fill in the eyebrow by using beige brown eyebrow powder. For this look, I'm going to make my eyebrows a little bit thicker to create a softer, innocent look. Alright, this is my new favorite shading powder. I'm going to contour my face by using the brown shades and make it look more dimensional. It's not powdery but it's really pigmented and the triple shades are really convenient for a contouring process. And then I'm going to apply the shimmer wand onto the bridge of my nose to make it look higher. Let's move on to the eye makeup. I'm going to take this light peanut color as the base eyeshadow and apply it onto the upper and lower lid. Next, for the shimmer color, I like to use the tip of my finger to apply so that the color will be blended nicely onto the eyelid. It will make the color showing more as well. Next, I'm going to use this type of eyeshadow brush to apply the dark brown color onto the outer corner of my eyes and blend it it works evenly. I'm going to drag it along the loveless line a little bit to create a dark illusion. Next, I'm going to apply the glitter one onto the middle of my lid by using my fingertip. You can see how the glitter made the makeup look prettier. And I'm gonna use a pencil brush to apply it onto the egg yourself. Next, to make the egg yourself look bigger, I'm going to apply the peanut shade beneath my lower lid like this. Now, I'm going to rim my eyes with pen liner. First, I'm going to draw the eyeline and drag the tail upwards towards the eyebrow. Next, with the same pen liner, I'm going to draw a short line onto the outer line of my lowless line, like this. And then also draw a short line onto the inner part, like this. Next, I'm going to finish off the eye makeup by applying mascara onto the upper and lower lashes. For this look, I'm going to use individual eyelashes. It takes more time and is more difficult to do, but the result is really natural. Next, I'm going to apply rose based blusher to my cheeks just right on the cheekbones area. My lips are too pale, so I'm going to apply the base color brush to make my lips look nicer. And then I'm going to apply my favorite lip tint on top of it. This one is Black Rouge Air Fit Velvet Tint in shade A31. This lip tint smells nice and it's really easy to blend it. Start from the inner part 
and blend it upwards evenly by using a Q-tip to create a soft gradation lips. Alright, that's it for today's tutorial. It's really simple, right? This eyeshadow palette is really convenient to be cared for traveling or even for a quick daily makeup. If you want me to create more tutorials, please leave comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!